Hey everybody! So, finally we have a decent USB tester on the market packed with a bunch of cool and unique features. I've already reviewed the most popular USB testers and until recently these AVHZ wide testers were my favorites. I'll still be using the small one, but this one will be replaced with the FNB58 tester. I'll put links to all the stuff in the description below. I'm not sure why, but many USB testers are made without a proper casing. To me, they just look like prototypes. I got a couple of dead testers because some tiny screws or wire particles managed to get inside and shorted something. This tester looks nice and solid as a finished product. I won't go into detail about its basic features. This tester has USB-A, Type-C and microUSB ports, gravity sensor and you got several screens here that show you the voltage, onboard temperature and if you connect some load, you'll see the current draw and power. Same information here plus the voltage on the data line and current charging protocol. Next we have oscilloscope, which shows VBUS frequency and curves of the voltage, current and some data line activity. We have a nice user-friendly menu here. Let's begin with the fast charging. This tester has an automatic detection feature that provides a quick overview of all supported charging and power delivery protocols of your power supply or charger. For example, this Samsung charger supports Quick Charge versions 2 and 3, and we can manually switch from 5 to 9 volts if needed. Just like this. And if I select Quick Charge 3.0, we can perform precise voltage adjustments from about 4 to 10 volts. It's a very cool feature that allows you to transform your charger into a power supply for some experiments. You just need to make a cable like this. Now, if I connect this tester to my laptop's charger and go to the power delivery trigger, we'll see a list of all supported PD voltages and currents. We can easily switch from 5 to 18 or 20 volts. This tester has a massive list of supported protocols. Now let's go to the toolbox. We got some cool features here, which are nicely described in the manual. I'll show you just two, which I frequently use. Let's start with a power delivery listener. First, we need to power the tester with a different source than the one we are monitoring. I'll simply use my battery pack. Then connect the charger and plug in the second USB-C cable to a PD-enabled device. In my case, it's gonna be my laptop. As you can see, the power supply has switched to 20 volts and we have the current and power readings. And down here, you can see three PD modes which my power supply supports. And that's the one that is currently in use. This power supply provides 130 watts, which matches the specs on its label. It's a very useful feature for laptops and power supply diagnostics. And the last feature used quite often is reading the USB-C cable's electronic marker chip. The difference between this cheap 5 bucks cable and these $40 anchor cables is that these cables have a marker chip inside. Regular USB-C cables without the chip support a maximum of 3 amps of current, and you won't be able to power your laptop or any other power-hungry device with a cable like this. So connect the tester to an USB port and select USB-C eMarker. Then connect your USB-C cable to any of these USB-C ports. You can power the tester with the same cable and read its eMarker chip. This cable shouldn't be connected to any power source. And here's all the information from the chip. We can see that this is USB 4 Gen 3 cable up to 1 meter long and it's capable of delivering 50 volts at 5 amps. Let's try another one. This is USB 3.2 Gen 2 cable with a PD rating of 20 volts and 5 amps. Voltage times current equals 100 watts, which matches the power rating marked on the cable. Now let's test this Chinese cable that also claims 100 watts. 
Well, it does deliver the power, but it turns out to be a slow USB 2.0 cable, which means it's useless for high-speed data transfer and video transfer between your computer and the monitor. This is also a way to spot fake cables. And finally, let's check this cheap cable. And yeah, there's nothing inside of it. So I highly recommend this USB tester. There are two versions available, with and without Bluetooth.